Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for July. This is for the sign of Capricorn, Capricorn Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these for an overall energy, and we're going to use the vice versa deck. But I wanted to cut it in front of you because I usually cut it off the camera, but I just decided that I was going to cut it in front of you instead. Um, but anyway, just because I'm such a stickler about... You know, people seeing what's actually going on. But anyway, so this is for Capricorn, uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for the month of July. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you. Don't try to make it fit. So let's just cut this deck real quick and see what we get. Chariot. So somebody could be dealing with a Cancer. And you know, we have this, these energies going on with the Cancer and Capricorn right now, so this really, really fits. You know, this right here is, is uh, you know, going in a new direction, right? This is, this is leaving something behind, and leaving something behind so significant that it is dissolving behind you, okay? You're headed in a new direction, and what you once knew, it's like you can't go back. You can't go back. The road is dissolving. It's like you're, you're headed to a new place, okay? And where you've been, there's, there's no looking back. There is no looking back. So um, it looks as though you're in the driver's seat. You notice we got this Ace of Cups here. It, you know, you may be acting out of self-love, okay? Or you may be... Um, Taking your love someplace else, okay? Looks like you're taking your love in someplace else. I mean, that's what we got here. So we're just going to set that down for a minute and we're going to get one of these. And then we're going to shuffle. So the overall energy is that chariot. We're going to go with that and say that you guys are in the driver's seat. You're taking the lead, right? You're taking the reins. Forward movement taking control of your life. Transformation. This is a card of transformation. Huge one. You're headed in a new direction. It's like you're replacing that fear and going someplace else. And wherever it is that you're going, there is no looking back. You could have a cancer that's coming into your life. That just came into my mind. You could have a cancer that is coming into your life and they got some love for you. Just saying. Could be anybody else. Somebody could be headed into your life that has some love for you. It doesn't have to be a cancer. It could be anybody. The thinking man. Yeah, we do got a thinking man here, don't we? Somebody is thinking about what they have. Thinking about what they want to offer, what they have to offer, what, what they want to give, what they want to keep. This guy is really, really, really thinking. Look at the look, at the look on his face. So... If you are the female watching this, you are dealing with this man. This, this, this is this. You have somebody that is thinking about offering you something. Okay, you do. You got somebody's thinking about you right now. If you are the male watching this, this is you. This is you thinking about what you have to offer. Whether you want to offer it, whether you want to give it, where you what, what you want to do with it. Thinking, you know, do I have enough to offer? Either way, we got a thinking man here. We do. We got a man that is thinking about love, obviously.
And these are the vice, this is the vice versa deck. There's stuff on both sides. So. What do we got for Capricorn? I look up when I shuffle, so when I have I have to with this deck because there's stuff on both sides and I don't like to see, so here we go. Page of Cups. Three of Swords. Three of Cups. Hierophant. Judgment. Ooh. So somebody is, is turning their back on a situation. Okay, this is the Page of Cups reverse. Somebody is closing down emotionally. Somebody may have had their heart set on somebody that is emotionally unavailable. The Three of Swords. I mean, we got somebody here that is facing some stormy weather. It looks like this guy is going back. It's like he's going back to the gravesite or he's going back to the to the to the uh, war zone of some sort. Three of Cups, this is a celebration. This is have fun. Socialize. And this is a need to have for more fun. Maybe you need to get out there and have more fun. This is a card of have faith. This is a card of commitment. This is a card of believing. Seeking inner guidance. Listening to your inner guide. You could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio as well. So, you know, but I think we have somebody here that is, is, and you know, you could be dealing with a Pisces. You see that fish jumping out of the cup? Something is slipping away. Something is slipping away. I feel like we have somebody here that is... Somebody is grieving. This is this guy is grieving. Looks like he's he's ready to heal though. He or he's healing. He's going to take those swords out. Okay, that's where he's going. He's going to get his get those swords out. It's like he's ready to heal. He's ready to heal. So somebody may have turned their back on you and now they're ready to face this storm. They're ready to face this this issue. It's like they're coming, they want to heal this situation. Huh. Interesting. Now, this is a reconciliation or uh, or a resurrection. This is this is the truth being revealed. This is a um, forgiveness, perhaps. Anyway, we need to get some more cards. Somebody is thinking about a commitment. That's for damn sure. Somebody is thinking about a commitment. Could have been a third party situation here for some of you. Somebody may have involved another person and now they want to heal it. They want to heal the whole situation. Maybe they turned their back on you and they maybe they want forgiveness because these two cards would signify that. Forgiveness is needed, so I'm not sure if that is the case, but we're going to go ahead and stop right here. Five of Cups. Yeah, we got somebody who has some regrets. King of Wands. Ooh. Five of Swords. Imagine that. And Five of Pentacles. Wow. And the Eight of Swords. Now, right off the bat, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this out there because I, I see it. I don't know if you see it, but I see it. You're about to see it right about now. Five, 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 five. Five, 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 five. Expect the unexpected, Capricorn. Expect the unexpected. Because your life is about to change. Five, 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 let go of the old and bring in the new. Personal freedom, instability, life choices, life change. That's what five, five, five is about. Facing adversity. So, it looks to me as though we have somebody here that has been really thinking. Really, really, really thinking about the pain. They've been really thinking about 
you know, forgiveness. They've been really think, thinking about um, commitment. They've, they've been grieving. We have somebody here that's had a, that has a lot of regrets. But there's still an opportunity for love. Okay, there, there's still uh, there's still an opportunity for love here. So maybe somebody is hoping for some sort of resurrection of a commitment. I just got to be honest with you. You could be dealing with, I think I already said this, Taurus or Scorpio. Um, we got somebody here that is really, really suffering. I got to be honest with you. We got somebody here that is is really uh, having some serious regrets. I, 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 that is what this is. If you look at this guy's hands on his head, this guy is like, he's he doesn't know what to do next. It's like, I don't know what to do next. This guy is in anguish. He's probably seeking guidance. He's probably seeking guidance from somebody that he trusts or seeking guidance from a counselor or seeking guidance from above. We got somebody here that is really, you know, um, trapped, really, really trapped, really, really stuck, really in a place of, of conflict, inner conflict over, you know, somebody walking away. I think that we have had some serious power struggles here and somebody has, has left. It's like, you, you, you want to treat me like that? You want to, you want to, uh, cut me down? You, you got to win at all costs. You can watch me walk away. Watch me walk away. So, you know, I feel like we have somebody here that is walking away from somebody that has really, uh, well, brought to them to their knees in the past. Brought them to their knees. We got somebody here that has decided to just go, you know. Um, there's definitely some sort of uh, serious grieving going on here. There is. There absolutely is. And I feel like we have somebody that is, 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 there's probably some tears. There's probably some tears. There's, there, there's some sadness over a loss and, and somebody may, you know, be wanting some sort of forgiveness. Um, <clears throat> So cancer, oh, cancer, Capricorn, for some reason I decided to do your reading like this instead of the regular spread. I don't know why. Things happen the way they're supposed to happen. I'm just going to go ahead and clarify and keep going. I don't know why that happened, but it happened for a reason. And take that as a message. I don't know why that happened, but it happened for a reason. Somebody has gained a lot of wisdom. Somebody has gained a lot of wisdom through suffering. A lot of wisdom. This person has been unable to take action. And they've lost their focus and they've lost their will. They've lost their willpower. It's like they've lost their will to even succeed because of the pain that they have been through. But it's like, I'm ready to heal this situation. I just want to heal. I want to, maybe they want to be friends again. Maybe they, they want to reconcile. They want to reunite. This is a reunion. This is a uh, reconciliation. So, oh, and look what they, look what I just happened to turn over. The lover's card. And like I said, expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. So, this is destiny. This is destined. I feel like somebody wants wants you to give them a chance whether it's somebody new or somebody old this is give a chance can you give me a chance will you give me a chance somebody has probably been receiving some guidance from somebody but they have been trapped in their mind, trapped in their thoughts, really trapped. But there's a, there's a, there's a love connection here. This is love heals. And this is unexpected. So you may have somebody unexpectedly that 
comes into somebody, an unexpected lover, an unexpected love offer from somebody that you did not expect completely. You did not, you don't even see it coming. Um, we're going to go ahead and get some more cards. We're just going to lay them out like this. This could, something could happen right around the eclipse. I just got to be honest. You know, I think whatever has been hidden is about to come to light. Knight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Wow. This guy wants to have it all. He wants, he sees an opportunity for wish fulfillment. He's like, I want to have it all. And then we got the Wheel of Fortune over here. Destined change. You're about to receive something that you did not expect. Something really good is coming to you and you don't see it coming. You don't see it coming. Um... I think you got a love offer coming in, Capricorn. I do. I do. I think you got a love of a love offer cup coming in, and it is a very fortunate one. I think it's unexpected. I think it could bring you a lot. Nine of Cups is abundance. You could, de and this is a deep bond, and this is a deep bond. So you could develop a deep bond with somebody, or resurrect a deep bond. Somebody walked away, and that's clear. Somebody walked away. Somebody may have walked away from a third-party situation. They may have walked away. Somebody may have walked away from somebody else, you know, because there was a third-party situation. It feels like we have two people that are coming together after somebody else has walked away. So maybe, you know, there was another person that walked away or somebody's told somebody to leave or whatever the case is. I feel like somebody is reuniting with a soulmate. I mean, I got I got that's what I think this is. There's like a soulmate reunion here. And I think it's because somebody is choosing to it's like they want to heal something that ended pain, painfully i'm ready to face this storm i'm ready to face this face the rain i'm i'm ready to deal with whatever pain that i have caused whatever it is i don't know i feel like we have somebody that is ready for healing they're ready to they're ready to live again they're ready to uh, commit. Um, they want to commit. They want to commit to you. I think there's a love offer coming in. Could be from a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be from a Taurus. Um, could be from a Gemini. Some There's a lot of grieving here. But this sadness, whatever it is, there's an opportunity to heal from this sadness, whatever it is. Somebody is about to leave the sadness behind and head into a situation where there's a lot of abundance. There's an opportunity for, for love and happiness. And that I can't make it up in a long-term commitment. And I think it's because somebody else has walked away. Somebody else has walked away. I think there was a third-party situation that has come to an end. I, that's what I think this is. Um, whoever this person is, if you are the female, if you are the female watching this, whoever this person is that is, is, is coming about, this person has their shit together. Okay. This person is, it feels like they're wealthy. You know, this person is wealthy. They have money. They dress well. Um, they can take very good care of you, whoever this person is. I feel like this person, if you are the feet, if you are the male watching this, I feel like the woman that you are dealing with has a lot of love to offer. She has a lot, a big, huge 
heart. And she's probably been waiting. She's been waiting for somebody to see it. So I feel like there's a relationship that is about to grow into something. Or it's about to come to fruition. Or somebody is going to trot right into your life. And it's because somebody else has left. It's because the it's like the wrong one has left. Or has been given their walking papers. However that is for you. This is a destined change, of course. Destiny. Whatever is meant is when it's if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. You can't fight the script. You can't fight what is meant to be. So I think that we have I do feel, I mean, this is destiny and this is destiny. It's meant to be. I think that you are about to come together with somebody that you are meant to be with. This is an epiphany. This is an awakening. This is a wake-up call. A secret is about to be revealed. This is also releasing the past. So somebody may be, you know, wanting to, you know, you to give them a chance and to release the past completely. It's time for you to release the past. You have an abundant opportunity coming into your life that could lead to something commit, committed, something long-term. We have somebody here that is very worried, very, very worried, in a state of mental um, conflict over, you know... being rejected but I think whoever this person is they, they want to you know they could help you heal they could help you heal from a broken heart even you have you have the wheel of fortune on this side which is destiny this is a, one chapter of your life is ending and a new one is beginning. This is a lucky break. Good luck is on your side. Something good is coming to you. And we have the world card. This is, the, this is a lesson learned, a major new beginning. Once again, one chapter of your life has come to an end. You have learned something big. It's time to let go of that emptiness. Because you have a major new beginning right in front of you. Expect the unexpected. Somebody's going to come into your life that is absolutely perfect for you. You probably, you may already know this person. It feels like you do. I think there's like, this is like a past connection. And it really is. So I think you already know who this person is. I do. Maybe you've been with this person before. Maybe you've known this person since you were a child. I don't know. My guess is it's a Taurus, a Scorpio, or a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Could be Gemini. This is all happening because somebody is walking away from the wrong one. However that resonates with you. Good luck. 